It was an unexpected inheritance of artwork from a murky past, and it's taken years to finally put it on display. A German museum is showing off pieces from a spectacular collection, but with an unusual background, and inherited from a reclusive family. Bern Fine Arts Museum, unveiling a Nazi-era hoard. These are just a few pieces from a collection of 200 paintings and prints that the museum unexpectedly inherited from a German art collector, Cornelius Gerlitt, three years ago. Stored badly, some of the works are damaged and need to be restored. We have to do to really check them very well, to, to, to really to look at them very closely, to see the, which are the techniques, um, which are the damages. Uh, we have mold problems, we have to check very uh, precisely. So that's, uh, that's our first thing, we really have to look close to the works. And the second part then is to, to do the con uh, conservation and restoration work. Most of the pieces were confiscated during the period of the Third Reich because they were considered to be so-called degenerate art. It was a term adopted by the Nazi regime to describe modern art that was banned on the grounds that it was un-German, Jewish or communist. The collection will go on display as part of an exhibition, Degenerate Art Confiscated and Sold. This exhibition and this whole case is not about art history alone. This is always and forever about history and modern history in the 20th century and post-war history, war history. And for us, it's important to always talk about these two things at the same time. So the exhibition will be twofold. Um, and we have curators in our team who are art historians. We have curators who are historians and provenance experts. So I think the mix is really what's important here to get a full picture of the importance of the case. The exhibition will be an opportunity to try to understand the political context that led to the vilification and exploitation of modern art.